Well, obviously your forecast is a cold and snowy one. If you were awake yesterday evening, you saw it coming down. Now, if you're awake this morning, you get to go out and deal with it. Our St. Joseph Hospital live weather by camera shows traffic is on the move on South Broadway, but you can also see the snow in between the uh, lanes of traffic here in the median hour. It's accumulated. You still want to watch out. A lot of those side streets are still dealing with this snow covered uh, parking lot out towards uh, Kroger Field from BCTC. That's out in Letcher County. US 23 at Payne Gap in the mountains. The roads are in pretty good shape. They've been treated, it looks like. Uh, but you've got that accumulated snow in the mountains as well. It's done. Uh, it wrapped up here around midnight and into our eastern counties. It's been winding down really over the past couple of hours, and it's finally out of here. The tail end of the snow showers out towards Hazard and Pikeville. Uh, the entire storm has moved off toward the coast, and the snow is flying still, but the Advisories and the winter storm warnings have all been discontinued. Uh, the only thing that's left is a winter weather advisory that just hugs our far southeastern counties, but no counties currently in it. And here's the end result. It was a band of a solid two to three inch total uh, on the higher end there with some isolated higher amounts, though. In fact, Lexington to Bluegrass Airport had three and a half inches of snow yesterday. That is a half an inch shy of our daily record snowfall for that date set back in 1925. So pretty big snow for us and our highest single day total of the season so far. That number was previously back in mid January. And now of course we've knocked that one out. That puts our total since we had that very first snow. Remember the last day of November when we got that first hit. That puts our total since then over 12 inches of snow uh, since it began in late November. So here comes a high. This is going to keep it pretty nice as far as sunshine is concerned, but you've also got this northwesterly wind uh, coming around the eastern side of this high, which is going to keep the temperature down. I mean, it is just cold out there, but high pressure is building in, so we are high and dry the next couple of days before the next system gets going. Warm front lifts in from down south. This one is going to be wetter and milder this weekend with the potential of some winter weather, I think, on the back end of it. But right now we are just flat out cold. 18 in Lexington, 19 in Richmond, the same in Danville, mid 20s Eastern counties. The wind chill, single digits. Feels like it's nine degrees right now in Lexington. And forecast highs for later on today. And we're only talking about getting up to around the upper 20s to low 30s. So a lot of folks will struggle just to hit freezing. A very cold night tonight. When you've got snow on the ground, the models don't tend to handle how cold it's going to get as well. So we're showing 20 here. I think we've got a good chance to get down into the mid to upper teens, uh, fairly widespread. So keep an eye out for that. And then tomorrow we're going to struggle to get back up into the uh, mid 30s. So, so it goes for the next couple of days. Partly to mostly sunny. It will be nice in that respect. At least the sun will be out today. But tonight with mostly clear skies, that northwest wind continuing, boom. We're down in the mid teens and then only back to around the mid to upper 30s tomorrow and then 40s this weekend. So yeah, it will warm up. But along with it, that slug of moisture, rain likely, cold rain, mixed precipitation possible, especially in the back end of the system, Sunday night into Monday as the temperatures drop. By the end of the weekend, we could be talking 40s, even 50s, and the colder air rushes in, and we're back in the 30s early next week.